Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S4 Root.com for this week's ROM of the week. Check out Android 4.3 Pac-Man ROM. Um, it is awesome. I featured this ROM a couple months ago, but that was Android 4.2.2. Now it is beta based off the latest Android 4.3, uh, which is really cool. Um, as you probably well know, this is a mixed ROM. Uh, it mixes CM 10.2 AOK PN, uh, Paranoid Android. Now this one does come with the latest Android a Paranoid Android 3.99 uh, which comes with the latest Halo notifications uh, Paranoid Android hybrid settings um, and also AOKP ROM control from a MR1 Milestone 2 so you have full customization of AOKP also uh, CM 10.2 and also Paranoid Android so that is the beauty of this ROM and if you're looking for just one ROM to uh, experience all those ROMs this is definitely it for you, and this is one of my favorite ROMs. Um, and now it is out for Android 4.3. Now, if you go to System and swipe to the right, you'll be able to make everything black here. Um, that should save you battery life because the AMOLED screen on the Galaxy S4 uh, does not use any energy when it's completely black. So if you turn it on, you will be able to save some battery life. And also, if you use back, uh, black background, you can save uh, additional battery life. Um, Pac-Man ROM settings, you can check for uh, ROM updates here. Uh, which is really nice and also don't forget to check out the contributors uh, here who made this possible and donate to the developers of this ROM and you can change the theme there you can download any AOSB themes you want to change there uh, also home screen this is a trebuchet I would uh, prefer Nova Launcher you can go ahead and just install Nova Launcher over it or Apex if you like Apex and also Android hybrid properties you can go ahead and uh, turn your phone into a tablet mode. It works so great on the Galaxy S4 because of the high resolution 1080p. Uh, and uh, if you get this, it's kind of off. You can try some of the other tablet. There's a bunch of different tablet UIs you can try. So try them out until you find the right one that fits the screen perfectly just the way you want it like this. And I've got my notification in the bottom now. Full tablet mode. And also you can go to uh, apps here and change DPI. Um, <clears throat> for example, let me see. Um, let me go ahead and bring up the browser here and show you the difference. Uh, I do have a full tutorial guide on that. Um, I'll have a link to it on my site if you want to check that out. Uh, let's say you want to change the DPI of your browser. Uh, let me just give you a quick example. Go ahead and change uh, browser and we're going to make it 600p and I'm just going to change it to a random number here, see what happens. Now let's go bring it up. And you'll see that everything got smaller there. Uh, and let, let me bring up Engadget here. And you'll see everything a little bit smaller. So you can adjust this to uh, actually some apps like Netflix will change uh, into full tablet mode. Um, and also see more of the apps, you know. So it's a great way to customize. Again, I have a full tutorial guide on that, so look at that. And as far as all of this, this is straight from MR1 uh, Milestone 2 uh, AUKP ROM. You can, you know, add, um, you can see show notification count. It'll show you uh, how many, you know, Gmails you have when you have email coming in. Um, you can enable kill all button here. That will kill all of your apps. Uh, and also, the pa latest Paranoid, uh, sorry, Pac-Man ROM does come with these nifty shortcuts to camera, um, calculator, clock. So it is really nice. Uh, some extra stuff added on top of all those other ROMs also. Um, you can find your full Pi controls here. Um, you can go ahead and enable it. Um, and make sure you disable it when you first install it. Otherwise, it's going to kind of interfere. Uh, and make sure you set the gravity right, left. Uh, I like to put it on my right. And yeah, it will show up there. Um, and also Halo floating notifications. If you want that, leave that on. And then if you go to your notification bar, you'll have the ability to uh, run the latest Halo floating notifications. And also no, uh, notification drawer and toggles. This is where you can switch your toggles. Um, some additional stuff you can do. You can change all of your toggles um, there. Customize it just the way you want to. Um, so a ton of options and additional gesture navigation. Um, some more stuff you can do with uh, your buttons. You can change what the buttons do, customize it, uh, enable that. Then you can change the double action, double tap and long press. 
Um, so it gives you a ton of shortcuts on top of Pi, and also you do have, uh, if you use Navigation Ring, uh, you'll be able to come up from the bottom and add up to like five different targets, which is awesome. I have a full tutorial guide on setting all of that up for AOKP ROM control, so take a look at that tutorial if you're new to this. But other than that, if you want a lot of customization, run your apps in tablet phone mode, uh, run your phone in tablet phone mode, um, this is definitely one ROM that's going to kill it all for you. And uh, very stable, camera's working out of the box. Um, there we go. And you can swap this one out for the uh, Photosphere one. This is on Android 4.3. Uh-oh. You know what? Um, I do. I am having some troubles with the camera at times. Um, so just know that before you install this. But otherwise, it you know, if I reboot it, it works fine. Hold on a second. And also, this is the boot up animation. You get a nice Pac-Man, um, a lot of Pac-Man stuff, uh, which is really cool. It does actually come with a Pac-Man game you can play, um, which I'll show you in a second. But again, the camera sometimes it was working just fine. I don't know what happened. Let me show it to you again. Uh, but what you can do is go ahead and use a focal camera because it comes with two camera. This one works just fine. Um, so just use the focal camera if you're having trouble with the stock camera. Um, and also video works just fine. And you can double tap to take photos. Uh, I also have a full demo of how to use the focal camera. So take a look at that also. Um, and if you need Photosphere, you can go ahead and grab the Photosphere APK file. Let me go ahead and try it again. It should be working. Um, I don't know what happened there. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's working. There we go. And you can t tap to take photos. Um, so there may be random crashes like that. Um, just be aware with the stock camera. But focal seems to be working uh, fine, so you should have no problem. And if you want to play Google Pac-Man, go ahead and choose that and then insert coin. And you'll have to use the, the right controls here. Just go ahead and swipe up, swipe left. Uh, there we go. And you know you can play this all day. All right, so you can go ahead and play Pac-Man game. Um, be all packed out, uh, you know. <clears throat> this is the ROM, uh, ROM that I really love. I'm actually running this as a daily driver on my Note 2. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. It is available for all the Galaxy S4s, including AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, US Cellular, C Spire, uh, Cricket. Um, did I forget to mention anybody? Um, I think that's it. And also uh, GTI 9505, GTI 9500. Um, so everybody support it. Um, so just download the correct version. Um, and also make sure you install Google Apps G Apps file. You have to use Android 4.3 G Apps, not from uh, Android 4.2.2. Otherwise, it will not work. And one thing I noticed, the DSP manager wasn't working correctly. But I mean, the sound is great um, with headphones and speakers. Uh, sound is loud. The only thing I couldn't adjust with DSP Manager. Um, a workaround is that there's a bunch of equalizers that you can get on Play Store. Um, you can do that and uh, you should be fine. So anyway, um, check it out for this week's ROM of the Week for the, all the Galaxy S4s. And do let me know what you think. And uh, you can get this nice case um, at cruiserlight.com by Archon there. A very nice case. Um, he's got a bunch of nice artistic cases. And he's actually working on my new high on Android cases. So he's going to actually have some new ones soon, which is going to be really cool. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, have some fun with Android 4.3. And of course, this is going to make you lose all of your Samsung features. So if you need Samsung features, I would go with another ROM, um, you know, for like GTI 9505, AT&T, uh, T-Mobile. I really like Wicked ROM. Um, also, there's Infamous S4, and uh, also there's a, uh, what is that, a oh, Bobcat ROM uh, is very good. And uh, One Home Light is very good for GTI 9500, and also it is available for GTI 9505. Um, so definitely check out the ROM, best ROM list on my site if you need a touch with ROM. Uh, but for this week, I'm, this whole week, I'm just focusing on Android 4.3 ROMs because uh, Pac-Man ROM is awesome. and the latest ones is pretty darn solid. No flashing problems or nothing like that from uh, the beginning. You know, it is smooth. It is fast. Um, you know, again, some of the stuff I've outlined, there's workarounds for it. So check it out and do let me know what you think. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.
けよ。